Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to get Origin installed on your Steam Deck using Steam OS so you can download and install your EA Play Pro games or just Origin games in general. There's a few things that you need to look out for here so do listen carefully. First of all, you are going to need desktop mode and I would advise at least using a Bluetooth mouse or connecting a mouse and keyboard via hub as this will make it a lot easier. First off, you need to go into a browser. I've already got Chrome installed, but you can use any browser you like here. But you'll notice that if you go to the Origin Store download link that there are no links. Now this is extremely annoying and let me know if you hit this problem as well. So I needed to use a third party tool. I use the TechSpot site here, which is one that I've used before and I know is okay. Download the latest version of the Origin installer. Now, once you've got that Origin installer, I generally find it in my downloads and copy the path, but for this, I know where it is quite quickly. So I'm just gonna add the non-Steam game and browse directly to that. As you can see, using a mouse makes this so much simpler than tapping on the screen. It really saves a lot of time, so I do recommend it. So I'm going to add the setup version here and make sure you switch to all files in the browser. Otherwise you won't be able to add those even if you copy the path. So we're going to add that and then we're going to go into the properties of the installer and set this to force compatibility for Proton Experimental. Once we got that, we can now run that from the Steam Launcher and remain in desktop mode. I'm just going to skip through the process here because it takes a little while for it to install until you get to your login screen. Now, very important, the chances are you are not going to be able to log in here, so save yourself some time and don't bother. This will generally be because the installed version is probably very slightly out of date or that the way that it was just set up from the setup screen just doesn't work very well with Steam OS. So when you get to the login screen here, just quit out. And now we need to go and find the version that was just installed by the launcher. Now this isn't quite as simple, especially if you've installed some other stuff on your deck. This could take a little bit of fiddling. And again, this is where the mouse and keyboard really helps. So you want to go to home deck dot local share steam steam apps compact data. And then you need to find the really high numbers here. If date modified works for you to sort order, then that will really help. You need to look into the C program files x86 section for the one that has the origin install. Once again, make sure all files is found and pick the one that has the origin.exe. Don't use the client or the other launchers, they just won't work. And it's also worth noting I have tried this with a thin client setup and also the EA launcher and it doesn't work at the moment, but the origin one does. Once we've got that origin set up, same process as before, we're going to use force the compatibility of that to Proton Experimental. And now we can run that origin.exe. Now this will run the actual proper client version and you'll notice that this will now run the auto update process. That's what didn't happen from the original setup and this is why you weren't able to log in if you did attempt that from there. So make sure that you are running the origin.exe directly from the setup so that you can update your origin version and then you'll be able to log in just fine. Now the last thing to note is once you have logged in, any game that you try to install, it will say that you are out of hard drive space. And also, funny enough, you can install versions directly to Steam here as well. But if you do try and install a normal version, it will give you a warning that you are out of disk space and you need to just select somewhere else on your hard drive to install these games. Now I've got a games directory set up just for this purpose uh, on my home and deck section so that I can install other games as well. But also to note, it will not find your memory card by default. So you can install very quickly to your internal hard drive just by selecting the C drive or the slash drive down the bottom and picking an area. If you want to use your SD card, there is a extra command that you need to use and you can grab that from our Epic installer video. You can just add to the path as a launch option of the .exe and that will also mount your SD card as an option as well. Other than that, you can now download and install games. And if you want to see some Titanfall 2 footage, you can check that out on the channel as well. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything else that you would like us to try and cover. And we will see you next time.